your talented Shannon Lee. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Absolutely, absolutely. So tell us, how long have you been a musician? Well, I started piano when I was five. I had my first paid gig when I was eight. Oh, wow. And uh, I've just been pretty much doing it ever since. Yeah. And I uh, raised some kids, and now I do it full time. And I'm 52. Oh, so, wow. That's yeah, awesome. Going so on a long to live time. Your dream. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> how, how many uh, instruments do you actually play? Uh, my primary instrument is voice. Okay. And then piano, guitar, ukulele, flute. Okay. I love that you said voice because a lot of people don't know that that's actually Yeah, that, that's the instrument. instrument. Yeah, yeah. That's, I studied voice and piano all the way through college. Okay. Wow. Um, but primarily voice. Awesome, awesome. So what is your favorite genre of music to play? Um, I really like music. I like to hear and play music kind of where it was born, meaning I'll play just about anything, but I like to think of it, it was probably born on a piano or born on a, a guitar. Mm -hmm. So I really like that broken down, you know, singer songwriter, yeah. not a huge production. Yeah. So I, I, if I have the chance to see anybody live, I always choose the acoustic show. Okay, okay. So you, yeah. like, you like that, you like the intimacy of it, yes. if you will. Okay. Yeah, rather than the big production. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah well, you'll get that at my uh, heavy metal show when I go see those. <laughs> <laughs> well, we go to those too. <laughs> you gotta love We it. just saw Dog Star on Monday. Oh, wow, yeah. wow. That they, was I a nice big production, yeah. yeah. It was good, it was fun. Oh, wow, that's awesome, that's awesome. So you, you, you love still, like, even though you're a musician, it goes hand in hand to go see live shows. What do yeah. you actually learn from those live shows when you actually go see them? I try to go as a spectator. But it's almost impossible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm always listening to the sound uh -huh. now. Um, but I always try to uh, study a little bit about what what makes it so appealing to watch. What is it about this particular band that that the masses love? Yeah. You know. Yeah. And uh, so I always kind of try to study and and just see what I can draw from what they do yeah. Yeah. to maybe add a little bit of that into what I do. Absolutely, the best. Uh best compliment is, 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 you know, taking something from someone else and, 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 and it's ultimate for them. Um, so, being that this episode is about love of music, what does a love of music truly mean to you? Oh, wow. Well, my thing about music is, it's the, for me, it's the one thing that can never be taken from me. Even if they took all my instruments and, I, you know, if something happened and I lost everything, they still can't take it from me. Right. And I, I can always sing and I can always do something. Right. And it's it's just something that is is so dear to me. And um, it has gotten me through a lot of rough times. It's brought me a lot of joy. I've met so many people. It's just an integral part of, of who I am. So I like it's almost written in your DNA. Yeah, yeah. It, like asking me to stop would be like asking me to stop breathing or yeah. something. I just I don't think it would be possible. Yeah. I will always have to do it in some capacity. And now, with that love that you have to display that love, you got to play out a lot. You've been mm -hmm. playing out for for many years, as you said. What does it feel like uh, being in front of a crowd and playing live to you? It's just a thrill. I like the connection. I especially like it when the crowd is um, engaged. I, you know, they're chatty. Yeah. You know, it's it's great. I love the interaction with people. I love hearing people say that that song reminded them of something. So I just really enjoy the the interaction. And then sometimes the crowds aren't engaged. Right. And then I just take it in a different direction and turn it more inward mm -hmm. and just enjoy the experience of being able to sit there and do what I love. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's it's different from time to time. And I just, I always uh, approach it so grateful. Yeah. I'm so thankful and grateful that my life has worked out that I can that I can do this yeah. as much as I want. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's the key, as much as you want. There are, in some uh, professions, um, they say, you know, if you don't get nervous, you don't get the butterflies before you go out to mm -hmm. do your thing, you know, then there's something wrong with you, you're not doing it right or something like that. So do you still get the butterflies? I do. Oh, do you really? I do. I do. Uh, especially if it's a new room. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I think you constantly have to be pushing yourself. Mm -hmm. So for me, uh, that's trying new music or um, like I'm super comfortable on the piano, but I'm not super comfortable on the guitar, but I bring it with me and I push myself to do it. So that's where I push myself to that that point of oh, a little bit of fear, a little bit of anxiety. Yeah. And sometimes it's not great. Mm -hmm. 
and then and that's fine because it's got to be not great so you can get better at it exactly so i always try to push that edge to where i'm pushing myself past the point of comfort yeah and speaking of pushing yourself past that point of comfort <laughs> you're a busy lady um you run uh, not two but three open mics three different ones okay. yes okay tell us a little about those well i fell into that actually a place i was playing they needed somebody to take over their Tuesday night open mic. Mm -hmm. um, it was called Divine Wine, and I said, sure. You know, I didn't have anything going on. So I just figured it would be something I did until it ran its course. And uh, we're going into our 10th year on Tuesday nights. Um, we've been at three different places. It's moved a little bit, and it started out as just an acoustic open mic, and then before long, people were bringing drums and guitars. And so now on Tuesday nights, um, it's a full band jam. I've learned how to run sound. I've learned how to set up drums. I've learned about guitars. So um, it's it's really helped me to learn a more rounded part of the business. I know yeah. I like the whole the whole shebang now. Yeah. Threw myself into the fire. So that's that one on Tuesday nights. That's at Z's Tavern. Okay. Um, every other Tuesday. And then we're at Dream Chasers in Waxhaw every other Thursday. Okay. And we get a lot of young people that come to that one. Um, and what's really inspiring about that is just watching these kids come in, they're learning instruments, they're writing songs, they're performing, and I get to watch them from the very first time that they've ever performed in front of a, you know, a brewery full of people, ter yeah. terrified, yeah. and then watch them get their feet underneath them, mm -hmm. and watch them learn from the other players, and, and then I'll start putting other players with them. Mm -hmm. and. So for me and a lot of the more experienced players, we get to watch and help mold this new player yeah. and be involved in that. Wow. And so that's the cool thing about that one is, is okay. there's a lot of young people that come to that mixed with a lot of experience. Right, right. And then here at uh, Great Wagon Road, started here a few months ago, um, this one is almost exclusively original music. Mm. They had uh, a set of players that were here before I got here and they've been so great. Um, welcoming all of us in yeah. and so the community here has grown and it's been really inspiring for me to hear all this really great original music because now I want to start writing again right, right. and uh, so the feel here contagious. is completely different yeah. yeah and the open mic has become a, uh, a very important part of my life mm. I feel uh, that it's it's great for the community it's great for people who want to play but don't want to be a pro or people who want to try out new music, or people who are new, and you can introduce someone who's been playing alone in their house for 10 years, right. and over time, you can watch them have four other people up there yeah. with a percussionist, a bass player, a guitar player, and a keyboard player, and all of a sudden, their music has gone wow. wow. And you just watch them, the light just come on. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's become a huge thing in my life. Yeah, it's, it's, it's great thing about it is you get to see someone's talent actually grow and they, they go and be something, you know. Yeah. A lot of people make been made famous at the whole bunch. Sure. It, it is a huge part of the music community and um, it, there's just nothing bad that comes from it, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, it's good for me because it, it helps me with steady employment. Mm -hmm. um, it's good for the bar. Right. And, it's, it's just such a great thing for the players who come out. Yeah, yeah. And um, I've seen people who are new to the area who come in and boom, they've instantly hooked up with a large community and now they've got a group of friends. Wow. And then that branches out. Because when I moved here, it was tough. It was, I had a hard time kind of finding my way. Yeah. And that's another reason why I do things the way I do. I want to make things easy for people who move here to get them plugged in. I can say, what are you doing? What do you want to do? And I can say, you need to go meet this person, or you need to go to this other open mic, this one will suit you better. And we all do that for each other. Because um, since there's so many, and they're all different, we all kind of know. And right. so we're like, you know what, you need to go to this one, you need to go to that one, or they'll be like, you need to go head over to Shannon's open mic. And we all work together, and I think that it, it has helped the community grow. Wow. With most things, if, if, if everybody's succeeding, then we all kind of rise together. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's part of the change that I want to see. And I think it's happening that's more awesome. and more and more. That's awesome. I'm sure the community is very, very thankful that you're doing that. And from what I hear, you're going to be gracing us with some music tonight? It should be. Yes. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> well, let's go listen to some music. All right, great. Thank you for having me. Thank you.